will be working or not so further we can work on two to two projects on that not getting by this not being up to date Once your mesh is generated, you can use it. Your mesh model is created. So for that, we are introducing method. So for that method, connecting the geometry, and then making as a multi zone, and going back to sizing. now you can see this so now let us update it we'll update this then open your ap acp that is ansys composite as you can see the geometry now what all the material are there the material are epson <coughs> epoxy carbon and honeycomb for that i need to create a fabric i'll write this as fabric as layers layers of or upper layer and i'll consider the material for this as epoxy carbon and thickness each i'll consider thickness as 0 0.0 sorry 0.25 okay so apply but prior to that i need to check you need to check always the units so when that is updated then only whatever you are taken would be now you can see that we considered 0.25 but the thickness went to 250 so update that so this is done similarly one more as like core i'll select the material as honeycomb and thickness as 2.5 yes so apply to this again and then one more you can use on a fabric is lower layer so again for this i'll be using epoxy carbon with 0.25 remember the thickness okay then when you do this 
we need to give a stack up for that. So create a stack up, right click create a stack up. Now here, horizontal, okay. So for that, first I'll consider low, sorry, upper layer, because I'm considering from top down or bottom down. Anyone you can consider. So I'll consider top down. The next the angle is zero. So again I'll consider the upper layer itself. Now angle I'll consider But now the elements broken. Because we didn't consider okay. So let me try with this, but we need to do a separate horizontal and vertical thing. Yes, so I'll consider the base as the origin of coordinate system and here I'll be changing my x, y by giving Okay, so what we'll do we'll just give an apply to this now you can see the coordinate system is corresponding to this. So now similarly for that orientation set need to be created. This, if I do this, even this, we'll be getting an error because horizontal and vertical thing will not be a correct. Error in the sense, Now you can see the reference direction alternate method used for the orientation are different because whatever we consider we are considering will be different for the vertical. Okay, so then I will go for modeling. How do we model them? So we take a create a slide that is origin set. I would consider the same thing, but here initially I'll consider the upper layer with already i have given the core angle so i'll apply next i'll create one more ply with the same orientation set and then i'll be creating using a core okay then i'll give a ply one more ply the same orientation but here i'll be using a sorry lower set lower stack up set Okay. Yes, so if I apply or update this and then go to your modeling section, 
the element set it will be considered directly because we have not changed anything there previously okay so now you can see your material but what exactly need to be done whatever the thickness i'll show you with this in your other thing when you see the plies you will be getting the doubt what we have made a mistake okay so just for your information i am showing this what exactly the mistake would be if we do the same thing without updating without updating our <coughs> stack up now you can visualize the layer sequences here because the stack up for each as i'll show this you can visualize this the stack up upper and lower this is a lower one First ply with a thickness of one, but in the stack up, we had created, we had created each one. This is the second as a core, and the third ply as a upper layer, as one mm. That means each in this each has again a four. It has not been seen here, so I'll show that later in a pre-processor. Yes. Now, what what need to be done is like apply fixed support as these flanges or the surface. The as the edges are fixed. Now this surface you can consider as a fixed edge and then apply the pressure on the base surface but as this has considered entirely as one because of your what we call features has been merged into this you cannot apply on the surface on the entire Thing. So even though if I consider this, this would be a wrong. Only your pressure would be on the this bottom surface. Okay. So I'll consider this just as 100 MPa and solve for deformation as well as the composite failure tool. Here we'll be considering for maximum strain energy theory and psi who theory. With that, I'll be giving as a one message so, and with the failure that to check with face sheet wrinkling and the core failure because we are using an honeycomb structure here with that i'll be inserting practice after 
with that again safety margin you can also insert your stress and stresses here i'll change the place to layer so top and bottom positions it will give you the stresses click on to solve <coughs> Now you can visualize your displacement. As you can see, the pressure or the value added pressure is too high. So your deformation is too high as it is shown. 460. Okay. So that means if I keep and 